Bye. Good afternoon. Welcome uh, to this training session. Uh, and uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for dedicating your time and uh, being here every week. We uh, That's really uh, appreciated. Your uh, present here is uh, what motivates us for uh, these training sessions every week. So thank you for being here. I'm seeing some uh, new faces, some new names. Hefi, if I'm uh, pronouncing that right. Kevin, welcome, welcome. If it's your uh, first uh, time being in uh, these training sessions at Miracle Foundation, welcome. And thank you for being here. We are uh, uh, in March, so we are still exploring a stage three, uh, three of Miracle Accountancy formula. And uh, we are uh, so glad to have you here. And uh, I would love to see your faces. So if anyone could uh, just turn on their cameras, that would be lovely. And uh, just a uh, uh, reminder that uh, these sessions are uh, being recorded and they're going to be uploaded uh, on our YouTube channel. So uh, uh, just by uh, being present here, and joining the session, uh, that means that uh, you're okay with that, you, uh, you're you aware that uh, this is uh, being recorded. So thank you for uh, your uh, contribution. And also, if you missed previous sessions, you can always go to our YouTube channel and watch the previous recordings. I do uh, recommend you to do that if you missed uh, the previous ones. There are some valuable insights uh, during that uh, session shared. So yeah, just uh, jump to our YouTube channel, uh, subscribe and uh, watch the recordings. Just before uh, we start uh, our session uh, for today, I have a quick announcement and uh, Sukesh and Mohammed, two of our interns who finished their internship uh, recently this month, uh, this week. So I, I wanted to just congratulate them for uh, these uh, three months of uh, hard work and a uh, successful internship. Congratulations. And also they are uh, going to be consultants now. They uh, just uh, move a, a step forward. So congratulations to Kesh and Muhammad for uh, this achievement. And uh, uh, we look forward to uh, and have you as a consultant in Miracle, and hopefully uh, we uh, see you just uh, uh, move uh, these uh, steps to uh, being better and better. So ju I just wanted to uh, share this uh, success story with you guys, with all of our Miracle family. We're so happy for uh, Sukesh and Muhammad, and I, I see that they are here. Congratulations, hi. And uh, yeah, that's the announcement I thank wanted you, to thank you. I wanted to make and uh, yeah, just enjoy the session. And uh, at the end of the session, we have a ten minutes question and answer. So, if you have any questions or any concerns about market accountancy formula or um or the whole training internship that we have here, you are welcome to ask your questions. And thank you for being here. Uh, enjoy your session to you more like hi thank you thank you Sepede. um always a pleasure yes uh to the yeah, echo this sentiment always a pleasure yeah. to be here uh to serve you know to share uh one's knowledge yes and the blessings you know that um, that brings you know to all of us um well you know i like talking good news i like talking <laughs> positive stuff Yes, I like you know um, inspiring people. Yes, and um, the reason why we will continue to do these um, sessions like this is because there's a lot of good stuff here that we give out. Yes, and um, uh, we have it. You know, we're saying we have it. That's why we are going to give it out. You understand? Mm -hmm. And um, and we thank God for that. We are happy and grateful. You know, to be able to do this. Yes, and uh, my you know, um, appeal, you know, to everybody here who is listening to me, you know, take this thing seriously. Yes. This is your career. Yeah. This is that journey for you. This is what you, you like doing, happy doing. Yes. 
at least eight hours a day, five days a week. Yes. This subject that is so close to, you know, to our heart, you understand? Our heartbeat. And um, uh, I love talking about this, you know. So uh, welcome, yes, uh, to all the new guys as well. Uh, molecular accountancy formula. This formula, yes, um, let me bring you up again. Yes, and um, uh, every day, you know, for me, yes, um, I get to, you know, to talk about the molecular formula, the accountancy formula. Um, why? Because that's what we use, you know, to serve our clients. Yeah, simple as that. Yeah. And um, it happens for me because, you know, I am the last person to sign these accounts uh, or the audit, you know, or, you know, uh, meeting clients, yes, and uh, prospective clients, you know. So every day, yes, uh, I'm interacting with all those six stages. Yes. And uh, and I enjoy doing it, I'm telling you guys. I really enjoy doing that. Yes. And every day, you know, um, I'm seeing, you know, and experiencing new things coming, you know, like, you know, a light bulb moment. Yeah, you might think, well, hold on, Mola has been talking about this for so many years. Mola designed this, you know, um, um, with all this experience, you know, so everything should be, you know, uh, not not new. But no, that's not what, you know, learning is about. Yes, to have an open mind. Yes. Um, uh, to all things I'm saying here. Yeah. I learn every day. I see things every day. Yes. And I'm saying, well, hold on. Seriously. You know, uh, this is becoming more clearer to me. Yeah, to me. Because the circumstances, the situation, you know, and the environment, you know, they do change all the time. People that you meet, um, you know, they got different, you know, you know, levels of uh, what you call it now, awareness. Yes, uh, it's beautiful. So these sessions that we have every Thursday is basically, you know, share some good experience, but also not so good experience, you know, in a way. But it's not to um, uh, pinpoint, you know, um, or name and shame. You know, sometimes, you know, uh, I like to name and shame it as well. Yeah, because sometimes, you know, when you name and shame some people, you know, a situation, you know, then we learn from it. Yes. Okay. But here is more about good practice, guys. Yeah. Good practice. Yeah. To be able to understand how the molecular accountancy formula works in the way it works here. Yes. I am, you know, a massive advocate, you know, um, and I will continue to encourage you guys. Yeah. To take that bold step to understand you know, um, paint that picture, guys. Paint this picture. What you see in front of you now, yes, the molecular accountancy formula, you got those six stages. Paint that picture, yes. Stage one is this management information system. Stage two, management accounts and value added. Stage three, statutory accounts and scheduling. Stage four, taxation. Stage five, reporting. Stage six, filing with the authorities. Paint that picture. Guys. Yes. And I'm saying that, you know, for us who are qualified, yes, and now at that level, people are expecting, you know, so much from us. Are you with me? Yes. If you are involved in the finance function, yeah, it doesn't matter whether it's small, medium, large, international, Yes, whatever. If it's the finance function of an organization, these six stages, yes, applies. Yes, so paint that picture. Yes, whatever it is that you're doing, you ask yourself, yeah, which stage am I, you know, with this particular activity? Yes, and then you connect it, you know, and the dots, you know, uh, within these six stages, you begin to see how things are going to become clearer and clearer you know, every time, yeah? So the first thing I want to advise again, like I always do every week, yeah, just to remind you guys, paint that picture. Are you with me? We're not going to come down here in training session like this and then go into the depth of all of these sections. No, it's not possible because it's just 40 minutes, 45 minutes. But here, yes, uh, is to paint this picture, 
Yes, because we see we think, you know, in pictures. Yes, we do things, you know, sometimes, you know, when we are thinking, yes, and um, that picture comes into, you know, um, us. We see it in a certain way, good, bad, or indifference. So I'm saying to you, yes, uh, this is not different. Paint that picture. See this. Believe in this. Yes, because it starts with that. Because if you don't believe in this, you know, I'm telling you, you know, you just hear my voice, you know, and then you just disappear. Yeah, but when you believe in this, you understand, you're going to take it one step further. You're going to give it the time, yes, and then the energy, yeah, and then you've got to learn some stuff. When you don't know, you're going to come back and ask questions. But well, I'm asking you guys, you know, really, yes, even for those who are just coming into the profession, maybe you might not understand, you know, and uh, what I'm talking about here now, because, you know, this guy is talking high level. But I'm still saying to you, it's still relevant. Come and listen. If this is what you want to do, if you want to work in the finance function, yes, you want to become the accountant that serves, you know, that actually differentiate themselves, you know, for a lot of accountants there, yes, and you're proud, emotionally involved to serve people, businesses, yes, even though you are still, you know, new, yes, uh, I'm talking high level here, still come and listen. Because, you know, uh, by you coming down here, yes, I uh, really want this. And then you're listening, you're taking notes. It might not make sense. Yes, but just keep coming, keep writing, keep asking questions. And I'm telling you, have an open mind. You begin to see how things will begin to, you know, uh, to see it for you. Yeah? Okay? For the guys who have been working with me, well, you know, you know, this is uh, a reminder. I believe in the principle of repetition. Repeat, repeat, repeat. Yes, okay. Uh, I'm not going to stop talking about this. I'm telling you, I'm not going to be tired of you know, reminding you guys. Yeah, the more cool accountancy formula. Yes, this is how it works. Yes, uh, paint that picture. Yes, all of the time. And it's interesting this week, you know, I had a, like um, um, uh, a staff appraisal, you know, with um, uh, one of the uh, colleague consultants, you know, but also interns. Yes. And uh, it's a really interesting conversation that came out, you know, you know, of those meetings, you know. I really love that, I'm telling you. Yeah, where, you know, you've got people who are, you know, coming from a different perspective, you know. Uh, why the Morocco accountancy formula, you know, and, um, you know, and, uh, and their own viewpoint. Yeah, really, really interesting. Yes, okay, we'll talk about that, you know, at some point, maybe in detail, you know, when we go into some of these things. But I'm saying here, Yes, uh, put that to one side, I'm saying. Yes. Yeah. Just come and listen to me and, and they understand what is what is being, you know, um given here. Because here it gives you, you know, some kind of structure. Yes. Stage number one. We call it management information systems. It means that, yes, there are different systems coming together. Yeah, to be able to capture that data record that data, analyze that data, and reconcile that data. Yes? Different systems. So if you're working in the finance function, you want to say, well, hold on, what kind of systems are we talking about here? Yeah? Sales ledger system, purchase ledger system, bank and cash, yeah, the payroll system, the VAT system, you know, all sorts of different systems. Yes? You've got the CRM system. You understand? That CRM you know, where, you know, the clients, you know, have this information where all their clients, their own clients, relationship, you know, management takes place. And that needs to be connected, you know, to the accounting system. Yeah? Uh, the banks. Now, you've got to make sure the banks are all connected. The bank account is connected, you know, to the accounting system. The payroll, if you're running payroll, the payroll needs to be connected, you know, to the accounting system. Yes? The VAT. Yeah, if you're running VAT or doing VAT for that client, you've got to make sure that VAT account, you know, um, is, is connected. The system is connected to, the HM to HMRC, yes? Because you need to be filing, you know, at the end of every quarter. The payroll needs to be connected, you know, to HMRC because you've got to be filing, you know, with HMRC every month, yes? If you're doing, you know, gifted, you need to be able to have the system connected so that, you know, when in a database that you got, you know, people are making donations, you're capturing that information, and that information feeds into the accounting system. 
So when you file in a gifted reclaim to HMRC, yes, it's all connected. Yeah, so guys, I'm saying to you, think about it. Yes, the connectivity that we are talking about here, yes, is so, so important. So I'm saying to you, if you find yourself anywhere you are and these things are not there, yes, then I'm saying to you, stop and say, well, the molecular accountancy formula is not working here. Yes, what do I need to do? Yes, okay, I need to connect. Yeah. Management information systems. That's what it means. So we don't call it bookkeeping. It's beyond bookkeeping. A lot of people in this stage, they will call it bookkeeping. We don't call it bookkeeping. And here, yes, um, I am saying to you guys, and now, really, right now, you know, we've got some, um, um, a training that we're now giving to our guys now, the, the interns, yes, all about the background information. And the more I'm looking at, you know, the background information, you know, when people are sending, you know, and so I've done the background information, I'm looking at it, more and more I'm saying, you know, sorry, I think we need to do more, a little bit more training, yes, on this, and the exposure. Yesterday I was talking to, you know, Cepede, you know, giving some, you know, uh, some update. Um, I had a lesson, you know, session, you know, with um, uh, a couple of the um, the interns yesterday, yeah, the trainers, you know, and uh, we're talking about background information. Yes, uh, please, I'm asking, if you have not got a copy of the background information, yeah, that template, you know, in high level, yeah, please do request for it. Sepede, I'll please ask you, you know, to share that, yeah. Uh, watch out for that, yeah. Please, guys, go through that background information, yes, and um, uh, it's really good, you know, even to refresh yourself, yes. I looked at it yesterday, you know, and I can see, oh my goodness, you know, there's a lot here. Yes. But without the background information, guys, yeah, you are not going to be able to do justice, you know, to the posting. Yes. Without the background information, yeah, you are not going to be able to, you know, be really, you know, uh, productive, you know, effective in what you do. Yes. And there's so much, you know, that you need to do, you know, and understand within the background information. Again, I'm not surprised, you know, why. Yes, we're talking about stage number two, the management account, and stage number three, you know, when we get to do those stages, we're taking so much longer, yeah, and the information that comes in, you know, is not good, yeah, uh, because the stage number one is not being looked after. Stage number one with the molecular accountants formula, they say, hi, we place so much emphasis, guys, on this. And this, if anything at all, for me, I just want to, you know, to pass that message on to everybody. Yeah, every week you can see me talking about this. I don't stop talking about this stage number one. I'm telling you, there's so much that is in there. Yes, if you master this, you perfect this. Yeah, the stage two, stage three, and all the other stages, they'll fall in place. Yes, um, but you know what? Yes, uh, guys will still challenge you and say, no, sorry. You know, uh, maybe, you know, more like you're doing it a different way, you know, or you're doing that way. Well, I'm saying, our formula is saying, yeah, focus on stage number one. Yeah, all the other stages. Stage two, the management account. Yes, you will see how that will come out. Because there, you pull in information from stage number one. This information is now reconciled, fully reconciled. The month-end procedure would have been done. Yes, so quickly, let me just give you this. Think about it. Stage one, you capture that data, record the data, analyze that data, reconcile the data. And that reconciliation is all the different reconciliations. Yes? Bank reconciliation, payroll reconciliation, VAT reconciliation, yes? Uh, debtors control account reconciliation, creditors control account reconciliation, PAY and NIC reconciliation. All those reconciliations are there. Yeah? Passing those month end, you know, adjustment. Yeah? Prepayment accruals, deferred income, accrued income. Yes? You pass in, you know, for example, even the depreciation. Yeah, month by month. And then at the end of the month, you do your month and procedure. And then what you do after that, those reports that come out, yeah, is what you're going to use to feed into your management account. Yes. So you're saying stage number one has been reconciled. Yes. Month in, month out. You are on top of this. When you come to stage number two, you are now focusing on 
looking at how you add value, you know, to this background information or this stage number one information that, and remember all the work that you've done in stage number one is historical information, yes? <laughs> and that's the beauty about this, you know, you say, well, hold on, why well, we pay too much attention to it? You know, when it's all historical. Accounting, as we know it, yes, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful uh, subject, you know, to talk about, yes? And uh, if anything at all, guys, I would like you guys to go and read, you know, I'll share the book later, you know, Knowledge Base, History of Accounting, yes? Um, and when everything that we're talking about here, yes, it's a lot of, you know, historical yeah, information that we're using, yes, to produce, you know, a management account, to produce statutory accounts, yes? Uh, historical. Why historical? Because it's done in the past, Yes, uh, if we record in transaction, we record in transaction that's happened, yeah, and because it's happened today, yesterday, or the day before, or two months ago, it's all historical. Are you with me? Okay, when you come to management accounts that adds value, we're saying you take the historical information and then you add in current information and information in the future. That's what changes that historical nature of this information yeah, into what you call value added. Historical information in the past, you add in information that you currently know, and then you look forward outside of the business into a different industry, what is happening in the economy. Yes, okay. Then you add all of that together. That's management account that adds value. Okay, every month. Yes, every month, yes, you're running a meeting and discussing because there are people who are charged with strategic decision making. Yes, and they need this information, this information for them to be able to make strategic decision. Yeah, looking forward, they are responsible with that, you know, uh, what you call it now, governance, you know, to move the organization forward. You understand, to make those difficult decisions, yeah, forward. I mean, every day you listen to the news, you see how many businesses, you know, are going down. How many businesses are going to liquidation? Even the big ones, those reputable, you know, family-owned businesses, they are going down. The economy all over the world, you know, is, you know, like yo-yo. Are you with me? Yes, accountants, we've got a lot to do. We've got a lot. You know, if anything at all, yes, we need to be there to be able to settle, you know, to set um, to, um, to steady the ship. There's too much, you know, volatility, you know, up and down that is happening. But you know what? We need to stay, you know, in the center. Are you with me? With all of this that is happening, we cannot stop it. It's outside of our control, but we need to stay in the middle. Yes? Knowing our stuff. Are you with me? Profit and loss analysis. you got to have that. The balance sheet analysis, the cash flow analysis, those KPIs. Yes? Now, everything now, you know, you got analytics, Google Analytics. Yeah, you see, you know, all this information is readily available. Use that. Non-financial analysis need to be. Accountants will always focus on numbers. Well, hold on. There's non-financial information that we need to, to bring to bear when we are providing, you know, what we call value-added information yeah, to those who are charged with strategic decision-making. So that's what stage number two is saying. Every month, just imagine you're going through that process. Yes. I'm not saying that business is not going to have problems. I'm not saying it's not going to have cash flow problems. It's not going to have, you know, um, um, what you call it now, the bottom line, you know, issues or challenges. I'm not saying that. But you know what? You're going to be in a very strong position, prepared. Yes? Uh, when the storm, you know, is so rough, is hitting you, and you are going to say, okay, I understand. I was expecting that group to come in. You understand? And, uh, yes, it's not surprising. Yeah, look at what I'm going to do. You're ready for it. Are you with me? You are applying strategies, you know, different strategies to deal with it. But if you're not doing this, yes, you're not even having, you know, no chance. So when that wave, when that wave hits you, you know, just like boom, you know, it takes you by surprise. Yes. And, you know, we've all been there, you know, where you're taken by surprise. <laughs> you understand? And then what happens? Yes. And, uh, well, you know, we need to be, yeah, centered. We need to be in charge, yeah, as accountants, particularly when we're doing, you know, um, a service that we are being paid for. Are you with me? 
Now, state number three. You done number one every day, every week, every month. Yeah, you done number two every month. Now, state number three, statutory accounts and scheduling. Yeah, that happens once every year. You're going to prepare accounts, statutory accounts. Yes. Well, the word there, statutory, yes, and then I haste to, uh, to emphasize that and re-emphasize that. Statutory means by law. Yes, by law, we've got to prepare accounts, and accounts need to be prepared in a certain way. Yes, by law. If it's a, if it's a company, a private limited company, then the company's act. Yes, requirement, yeah, says you're going to prepare accounts, you know, that, you know, uh, what you should comply with the requirements of section 477 or 478. Yes, so if you go to the balance sheet, yes, the balance sheet will tell you, well, hold on, this account, you know, comply, yeah, with the company's act. Well, do you know what that section mean? Have you gone down there, you know, and then, you know, find the time to read what section 478, 479 means? If it's a charity, it's telling you, you're going to prepare accounts, will comply with the charity's act and the SOP, FRS 102. Well, if you are preparing accounts yeah, that meets the statutory requirement, have you actually taken that time yeah, to go, you know, and then read about these things? Well, accountants, you know, I'm telling you, this is where, you know, these things becomes, you know, well, I always advise it's a bedtime story. Yes. <laughs> yeah. He says, well, I just prepare the numbers, you know, but uh, I cannot talk about it. You know, I don't know what the company is asking. I'm not a lawyer. <laughs> yes. Oh well, you know, I'm not um I'm not a lot no, sorry. If I want to remind us, remember when we were studying ACCA or you guys were studying ACCA, there was, you know, a subject called what? Business law. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes. Business law. Yeah. What were you doing when you were studying business law? Or you just thought, well, I was just gonna read it, you know, and then just forget about it. Well, now you are required when you get to stage number three, to apply that. Are you with me, guys? So you would say, oh, well, you know, I'm still, you know, studying, you know, so I've not done business law. Okay, I'm saying to you, if you're a student, yeah, just remember that, yes? For stage number three, it says statutory by law. Yeah, and when something is by law, yes, well, you don't have, you know, uh, um, any other thing, you know, to, <laughs> to worry about because the law prescribes what needs to be done. Are you with me? You just have to follow it. Yes? Okay? You hear some people say, well, the law is there. It needs to be broken or bend it. Yeah? You can bend the rules. Yes? Okay? I hear all these things. Yeah? But it's so clear. Yeah? And this is where we say, Moriku, we are accountants, you know, that uh, actually, you know, uh, the, one of the reasons why a client comes to us is because we know the rules. We know the law. So we work around the law. Yeah? And if, if we don't know the law itself, We've got associates, you know, people who are specialized. Yes, for example, in reducing, you know, the tax, you know, or the tax exposure. Are you with me? Yes, we work with those guys. But you cannot be, you know, uh, what you call it now? Well, I, you know, it's nothing, it's nothing for me. I'll just deal with the numbers, you know? Numbers, yeah, when it comes to stage number three, yeah, it's not the big issue there. It's the compliance with the law. And that's why it's a statutory account, guys. Yes, okay. Statutory accounts. With more cool, you cannot prepare statutory accounts without having a schedule. What do I mean by schedule? Your schedule is now helping you to break down those figures. So when somebody asks you, yeah, can you please tell me what's the breakdown of that your turnover? You got schedules, you know, uh, or explanation or analysis that gives you that breakdown. Are you with me? Yes, because you know that. Somebody is going to ask for that information, whether it is somebody internal. Or if you're working with me, you want me to sign those accounts. You know, you just give me a draft account without scheduling. You're going to give me the schedules. I want to see what your thought process. You know, how do you manage to put all of these figures together? And what you're saying to me, you took that information from stage number one, yes, and you move it, you know, into stage number three, and then, you know, now convert it into a statutory nature. That's what you're saying to me. I want to see that. Yes? Accountant, we like evidence. Yes? Evidence is not just evidence for ourselves, but evidence, you know, to be able to do some justice to this. Yes? But also, yeah, if third parties, 
HMRC, you know, Companies House, Charity Commission, yes, uh, even funders or the banks, yeah, uh, do require, you know, breakdown sometimes. Well, scheduling is the saving grace, I'm saying. But also, it's good practice and best practice. You cannot prepare accounts, statutory accounts, without having schedules. And uh, there's a lesson that uh, we try to organize sessions. You know, we're going to do more sessions, you know, on this um, scheduling. Yes, uh, we cannot do scheduling here. You know, uh, we've got to have separate sessions to do that. Yeah, okay. So again, you know, guys, uh, um, uh, if you want scheduling, yeah, we're looking for numbers, you know, so I don't do it over and over, you know, with, with individuals. I want to do, you know, where we get numbers. So put your name forward, yeah, so that we can organize that training session for scheduling. It's an interesting, I'm telling you, interesting um, um, area, yes. Uh, but I'm telling you, when you are able, you know, to cover things like the roll forward procedures, yes, um, uh, you get when you're rolling forward, what you're looking for, yes. The rolling forward means last year's account, yeah, which has been done and filed, you're now going to move this information forward because account is always the current year and the comparatives. Yes? So you've got to prepare, you know, before you start doing, you know, uh, the current year. So that's what we call roll forward. So you're taking the information from last year, yeah, you pass, you know, do some kind of testing, make sure the figures are okay, and then you roll forward those figures into this year. And then they say accountants, you know, are boring. Really? We are boring? Yes. I want you to stand back. You understand? When you do roll forward, forget about the mechanics, you know, because we, you know, sometimes we just do it like, oh, hold on, you know, and um, forget about the mechanics. Just sit down there, you know, and then see the creativity, you know, that takes place when you're doing roll forward. Yes. I want you guys to begin to imagine that. Then you will never, never, you know, believe that you are boring. I'm telling you, you are full of creativity, you know. When you are designing things, because your scheduling allows you to design, you know, some stuff, you know, and then you yourself, you are so comfortable. You are so pleased with yourself. And that is what I call creativity, okay? We don't like the word creativity too much in accounting because, you know, creative accounting... Yeah, it's not something that we, you know, we support in the way. But creativity, I'm saying here, yeah, where you are being yourself, where you've been authentic, where you are now saying, well, no, hold on, you know, I'm emotionally involved in what I'm doing and I'm really enjoying what I'm doing, you know, understand? I've got so much self-confidence that anybody talks to me about these numbers, I can explain it because the schedules are there. Yes? Stop, I'm saying to you guys. And then look at how roll forward works. Roll forward is saying last year, yeah, those schedules, yeah, were done, yeah, and then the statutory accounts were prepared and filed. So now you are going to now take last year, yes, and take last year's account, take last year's schedules, and then you now say, well, okay, I want to move that last year's schedules into this year, preparing, you know, for um, this year. And I like this, you know. I like um, what um, uh, I like the Bible, you know, um, references sometimes, you know. And uh, as I'm talking about this, you know, what comes to me, yeah, is when you know, and um, uh, you're preparing for uh, what you call it now, you know. It was um, it was um, um a marriage, you know, a, 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 a ceremony, yes, that um, Christ was giving example for, you know, and uh, and it says, you know, and uh, the bridegroom, you know, and the groom, you know, that event, yes. Uh, People need to stay awake. Yes, you cannot be asleep because you will never know, you know, uh, when the real stuff is going to happen. Yeah. And if you sleep here, my friend, when you go forward, you're going to miss things. Yes. That's why sometimes I look at figures. You say, well, hold on. Have you done a roll forward? He says, yes. But really, did you check, you know, this year roll forward that you've done against last year's account? That was filed. Did you check it? If you check it, really, then that would be like when you are really awake, you got enough oil in your lamp, you know, to stay, you know, for the night. Are you with me? But if you just roll forward those figures and then don't check it, then my friend, what you're doing there, you are half asleep. Yes. And that is not acceptable. Yes. 
because you know when the hour is there, I'll tell you, my friend, we're gonna close that door. You know, maybe you run out of lamp, you run out of of oil. You know, when you go look for oil, when you come back, the door is shut. Yes, and what I mean by that is, you roll forward those numbers, you don't check it properly. You know what's gonna happen? Yeah, it's gonna go all the way. There's potential for it to go all the way. Yeah, when we file those accounts, those accounts are going to be rejected. When we file those accounts, you know, um, HMRC is going to question it. Yeah, the banks are going to question it. Yeah, they see mistakes. Yeah, so I'm saying to you guys, we need to stay awake. Yeah, when we do roll forward. It's so important because we're moving, you know, just like, you know, and, um, uh, you know, New Year, you know, and I remember those days when we were very young. Yes, and, um, you know, when you are crossover. Yes. Well, you cannot be a slave when you cross over, my friend. You're going to be awake. Yes? And uh, they used to tell us, no, sorry. Well, what keeps you awake? You know, when you're crossing over. Yes? Uh, well, we've got to do so many things, different things, whether you be in church or you go, you, um, you're you having some special, you know, ceremony or whatever it is. But you've got to be awake, guys. And that is the same with roll forward. Because roll forward, what you're doing is you're coming from last year, the old year, and then moving into the new year. Well, hold on. Come on. Think about it. That is so interesting. But if you are asleep, what do you think? Just imagine. You are in the old year, you are asleep, and then you wake up in the new year. Oh, my goodness. What is happening here? And that is how we drop a lot of the ball. Yes. But, guys, I'm making it look, you know, you know, really funny, but it's really serious, guys. Roll forward. Yes. Uh, if you don't do roll forward, pay attention to it. Roll forward is going to cause a lot of problems. Yes. The working trial balance. We've got the way we design our working trial balance. Um, it's equivalent to what we call the extended trial balance. Those days when we're talking about extended trial balance, you know, you want to see, you know, uh, the whole room, you know, with, 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 um, with um, um, uh, what you call ledgers. Yes. We join those ledgers. We used to tape them, you know. So when somebody says you're opening the, the, your extended trial balance, yeah, the paperwork is from this end to that end. Yeah, figures are flowing all over the place. Yes? Oh, my goodness. Those days, you know, you got a calculator. In fact, you were not allowed to use calculator those days. Yes? And uh, now, we got everything, you know, in spreadsheets. Yes? Uh, you put formula there, and then it does it for you. How life is so simple now. <laughs> yes, I'm telling you. Uh, so big and beautiful now. Yeah, because of innovation. But guys, what I'm saying there is, you know, uh, there are certain way things need to be done. So now, in that working trial balance, you will see how it's designed. Yes, you got a section which says, you know, the trial balance, you know, from the client, which is coming from stage number one. Yes, is there any adjustment that we're going to do for the adjustment that has not been done in stage number one? And then now we've got the final trial balance. Yes, and this final trial balance is what we now go to use to prepare our statutory accounts. Yes, think about it again. You got the, the, the trial balance that has come from stage number one. As it is, stage number one, reconcile. It has been done. All the posting, the recording, you know, the analysis, the reconciliation has been done. Yes, you take that trial balance, you know, and then say, is there any further adjustment that we need to pass here? One of those adjustments would be corporation tax, for example. If it's a business that is going to pay tax, because stage number one, yes, you would not have been able to pass, you know, the corporation tax, you know, journal adjustment. So you will wait until the account is completed. Now you've made whatever adjustment and then pass the, the corporation tax. Because corporation tax, you know, in stage number four, then, yeah, it's a completely different, you know, calculation. So you need to be able to now say, well, okay, the accounts are fine. I'm okay with the account. All the adjustment has been passed, you know, but I need to now focus now on the corporation tax. That is why stage number four is there. So you do the account first, yes, and then you do the corporation tax later on, and then you pass the journal. But number three, yes, should be very little adjustments. And why is that? Because stage number one would have dealt with all of the adjustments, guys. Yes? So now we've got some accounts that we are now trying to prepare. So now I'm talking to my guys, I'm saying, how many journals have you passed in stage number three? 
Yes, I'm expecting where stage one has been done properly, yeah, it will be very little journals that you pass in stage number three. Yeah, because remember, stage number one, at the end of every month, you pass in preparements accruals. Yes, reversing opening preparements, you reversing opening accruals. You pass in journals, you know, for accrued income, deferred income, you reversing the prepare this accrued income, the opening, and then reversing the uh, the opening deferred income. Are you with me? You pass in journals for depreciation. Yes, all of these things are done in stage number one, not in stage number three, guys. Make a note of this. Yes, you should not be passing accruals. Yes, um, in stage number three, accruals is supposed to be done every month. Are you with me? Every month, you are you're passing new accruals. You reversing the old accruals. You passing new prepayments. You reversing the old you know old prepayments, as the case may be. You passing the possession journals every month. Yes, that's how you are dealing with those adjustments. Yeah, in stage number one, not stage number three. So again, that's a big difference here. Yes, when I was trained, you know, uh, where I trained and come from. Yes, uh, most of those adjustments we're doing is, you know, in stage number three. Yeah, because they say they are, this is accounting. Yeah, uh, those adjustments was meant to be, you know, for a higher level. Yes, that's how it was designed. High level. You, who is responsible to do stage one, you cannot do adjustments because adjustments are too, you know, not too complex for you. Yes. So when I was designing this, I'm saying, well, how is that? Really? Somebody who is doing stage one, are you telling me that person is not good enough to pass those journals, to pass those adjustments? So it's only somebody who is doing stage three, yeah, is the only person that is qualified enough to do it. No, sorry. Yeah, so you can see where we're coming with this radical way of doing this thing. But it gives a lot of, you know, order here. If you are not passing your accruals, your prepayments, your accrued income, all those adjustments, think about it, guys. I want you to follow me. If you're not doing it in stage number one, every month, the information that you push into stage number two, when you're doing those management accounts, are you think these management account figures are going to be okay? No, they're not going to be okay. Because stage one, yes, you, you've not done the month and accruals, the month and adjustments, they has not been done. So what are you doing? You say, no, sorry, just do the posting. And that's why most of the time people call this stage bookkeeping. Yes, well, we don't see ourselves as bookkeepers. And I want to, you know, urge you guys who are listening to me, yeah, particularly you guys who are coming into the profession, don't see yourself as bookkeepers. Are you with me? Yeah, refuse to see yourself as bookkeepers. I'm not saying, you know, uh, this is not, you know, uh, a good thing, you know, to call yourself a bookkeeper, but I'm just saying, you know, uh, refuse. No. You, are, you can do more than that. Are you with me? You can do more than posting. You can do more. And that's what we're advocating. Yeah, so in stage number one, you say, no, sorry, you know, I'm in charge of the management information system. I'm not a bookkeeper. I'm not just there to just data capture, record it, you know, and then do, you know, the, the reconciliation. I could do more than that. Are you with me? Yes, because when you do that, you take control so early on, yes? So number two, it depends on number one. You cannot do number two properly if number one isn't done properly. So that's why, again, you know, you find that, that most management accountants, you know, they spend so much time, you know, doing those adjustments, you know, adjustment there, adjustment there. You know, every month, you know, they spend so much time adjusting things, yes? And the figures are always different, yes? Uh, so deal with it in stage number one. The management information system should capture it, guys. I want you guys to understand this. This is high level I'm talking about here. Yes. And um, uh, you need to be able to picture. I want you to picture it. Even though you don't even understand it. Write it down and picture this. All the adjustments we're saying in the Moracle Accountancy Formula, they are done in stage number one. Are you with me? Not in number two. If you find something, an adjustment that needs to be done in stage number two, yeah, you need to communicate that back again to stage number one for that adjustment to be done. Are you with me? Yeah, so that next month, yeah, this will be picked up.
but you know you don't want the same recurring adjustment you know happening in stage number two stage number two you should be looking at adding value yes to the financial historic information that is coming from stage one add value you the management accountant you who is doing management accounting are you adding value yes what you mean by add value yeah is to look outside of the box look at what is happening in the industry look at what is happening with the financial you know um uh, what you call it now trajectory you know how are things where things are going yes in the industry you know competitors you know whatever it is and bring that information but not sitting down there you know worrying about adjustments you know, and the figures. No, it should be done with stage number one. Similarly, stage number three, you should not be having issues, you know, adjusting numbers, pre prepayment, accruals, you know, uh, uh, depreciation and stuff. No, it should have been done in stage one. Number three, what are you focusing on? You're focusing on the statutory, yes, responsibility, the statutory accounts by law, yeah, how accounts need to be presented. Yeah, that's what your focus needs to be because the numbers would have been reconciled for you. If there's anything I want to leave with you guys, for me, that's what it is. Are you with me? Yes, those adjustments. Yes, accountants, we are so good with adjustments. Uh, it was earlier this week, you know, we had a client meeting and the client is saying, you know, oh, well, I want to know what is going on, you know, I want to be in control. I understand that. But when we started talking about those adjustments, Yes, and um, that we have to pass, you know, and I say, um, and explain the adjustment that need to go on. The, 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 the client just, you know, you can see how the client is just completely lost. Yes, in fact, it's more stress, you know, for the client. And that's why I said, well, you know what? That's what makes us accountant. Because it's not just the posting. Yes, uh, because posting, she can do the posting. Yeah, she can do the day-to-day -day posting. Or oh, she can reconcile the bank. Yeah, that's fine. Now, talk about the payroll journal, how the payroll connects with the accounting, you know, and the journal that comes in, and how do you need to deal with that journal? That is, you know, beyond her. You need training for that. Yes, those annual or those monthly uh, accruals, prepayment, reversing, and the reason why you need to reverse. This is, no, no, sorry, you cannot comprehend. She cannot comprehend that. You understand? And I'm telling you, you know, she's very intelligent, you know, client, yeah, want to get involved. But these things, no, sorry, they're high level for, you know, you've got to have some discipline. You've got to have some training, yes, and believe in that. You know, you just cannot do it anyhow. Well, this is what I'm saying, guys. Yes, appreciate that. Yes, you cannot call yourself a bookkeeper. You are just posting transactions. No, sorry, you are valuable. You are more you know, um, God's highest form of creation. Are you with me? And you are in the business of creating, yeah? So don't allow anybody to, to tell you, well, hold on, well, you're just a bookkeeper. Are you with me? The God, you know, uh, association of bookkeepers. Uh, I'm not saying I go against them, but I'm just saying to you guys, when you're involved in doing this stuff, are you with me? Think outside of the box. Think outside of the box. Not just posting, yes? Background information. Spend a lot of time. Because even at stage number three, yeah, you're going to be needing your background information. How well do you understand or know this organization, yes, that you're working with? How well do you know it? Yes, because if you know it so well, yes, then, you know, uh, you know your statutory you know, responsibility, you know, you put those two together, you see how your, your financial statement is going to be so beautiful. Yes? Because remember, these financial statements, yeah, is what the public is going to see out there, particularly for charities, you know, who are going out looking for funding, for organizations, private companies that are looking for, you know, investors, who are looking for loans, who are looking for, you know, finances. Are you with me? Forging partnership relationships out there. Contact capital. Yes. Think about it, guys. Yes. If you don't, yes, yeah, statutory account. If they are not, you know, uh, in good shape, then what are you doing as an accountant, guys? What are we doing as accountant, as the trusted advisors? Why are we doing this? Yes? Why? Are you with me? The why now comes here, guys. We need to know our why. Why are we doing this? 
yes? And it's really, you know, there, like for us, we say is to serve, yeah, be partners, you know, with those businesses, then you will take this seriously, guys. About your client that you're working, the statutory, yeah, put all of that into the equation, statutory account, stage number three, yes, the report that comes out of that, those financial statements or statutory account that comes out, they're going to be big and beautiful, yes, you are going to be somebody who would have done your job, yes. And you would have said, you know what, uh, I'm now happy with myself, yes. And I'm telling you, you can go home, you know, without, you know, a uh, peace of mind, yeah, knowing that you've done your job, yes. And I'm telling you, when you get compensation added to that, yes, it's uh, the best state, you know, that you will ever find yourself, I'm telling you, for doing something that you love doing, knowing that you've done it so well. You can see yourself. You can sign your name to that formula, you know, and you get compensated for that. Oh, boy. That's what we're talking about here. Yes. Well, guys, it takes work. It takes dedication. It takes persistence. It takes dropping the ball and picking it up, dropping it and picking it. Yes. Uh, that's what it takes over and over and over. Stay awake. Yes. Uh I'm not saying don't go and sleep, you know, but no, don't sleep, you know, when it is time for you to cross over. <laughs> yes, wake up, yeah? Don't drop the boy, drop it, pick it up, and say, I'm sorry, yes, I'm ready to pick it up again, and do more. But, you know, when you got to know why, your big why, yes, it's so important, guys. So, I will stop here for today. Yeah, guys, give your name forward, you know, if you want to get involved in the scheduling. Yeah, so we'll, we'll have an hour session or so. Yes, uh, we'll do that for next week. Yes, and um, uh, uh, Sepede and Linda, they, are, they are, are gathering, you know, names of people who are interested so that we could do that. Yeah, and I want to do more and more of this. Yeah, some kind of internal training that we can deep dive, you know, on some of these things. Yeah, uh, so put your name forward. Um, I will stop this for and I hope, you know, I've, you know, I've thrown some light, you know, to this subject today. And if um, any questions from uh, from the house, you know, we've got maybe five minutes. If you've got any question, um, just uh, feel free. Just put your hand up, you know, and then um, unmute and then ask the question. Yeah. Over to you guys. Thank you. Any questions? Yes, Kevin, I see your hand up. Yes, um, hi everyone, it's been a while. Um, I have a question uh, regarding the adjustments. Yes. Especially when you are handling uh, someone else's work. So you are transitioning from uh, to become the, the, the in charge of a particular account mm -hmm. and of course you find these adjustments that do not necessarily have schedules mm -hmm. reference how have you handled it before what are some of the tricks that you can use to and yet because you are supporting like for example due diligence Mm -hmm. that can see some of these mm -hmm. uh, loopholes mm -hmm. that questions arise. Mm -hmm. So, I, yeah, I just need your experience on that. Yeah, thank you very much, uh, Kevin. Very good question. Yes, uh, and I must say, you know, that is, um, um, uh, you see this all the time. Yes, all the time. And um, uh, I'll give you some, you know, uh, some key pointers here. Yes. Uh, the first thing is, you know, um, again, go back again. Those adjustments I'm saying should be done at the time, you know, when you're doing your month end. Yes. So let's hold that position. So every month, yes, uh, you, you capture the data, record, analyze, reconcile. Yes. And then at the end of the month, you pass all those adjustments. Yes. Repayments, accruals, or whatever it is. And what you're doing there, yeah, think about it, what you're doing here. 
you're now saying, yes, uh, after I've done all of this adjustment, I will take the report that comes out, the profit and loss account, the balance sheet, and the trial balance. Yeah, I'm taking them out, you know, uh, with a cup of tea, you understand, and you're relaxing and you're, you're looking through those numbers, you know. Do I know these numbers? You know, I, I, I keep saying a cup of tea because you know what? You're going to be in a relaxed state. Yes, okay? Um, I will do that. And that is what I advocate. Yeah, you're looking at these numbers. You're questioning those numbers. Yeah, every number that is in your trial balance at the end of every month, you've got to break it down. Yes? This is where, first of all, you identify, oh my goodness, you know, there are figures here which I don't know about, you know? And when you don't know about the figure, you know, and you are in charge, remember, yeah, you cannot pass that buck now to say, oh, well, no, sorry, this is not about me. This was, I met this old balance. You are in charge. Take responsibility. Yes. And this is where I'm saying here, knowing the business helps. Yes. So you now need to go back and say, well, hold on. These old balances that are sitting down there, how did it get here in the first instance? There must be some historical data that would have been passed, you know? Uh, sometimes I see, you know, uh, well, the people just passing journals, no explanation. Are you with me? But even there, yeah, if you stop and you relax, I'm telling you, be in a relaxed state, and then just think, well, hold on, why did they pass this journal? Yes? And you know the double entry. A debit entry has a corresponding credit entry. Go to that journal and see you know, if he's debiting the balance sheet, you know, that is crediting somewhere, then what was that person thinking about that time? Are you with me? Yes. But again, it's to know, you know, this business. Yes. If you know and get a good background, yeah, now with your experience of the double entry, yes, and to know that, well, hold on, in the balance sheet, I cannot carry forward something that I don't know. And now, you know, this is the last thing I, I say here. After you've done all that investigation and it still does not make sense, you know, there is, you know, an allowance. You know, I call it the allowance, you know, which is now in accounting principle. It says the balance sheet, if you don't know a figure in the balance sheet, you know, don't carry it forward. You know, you go to write it off. Are you with me? You cannot carry forward a balance that you don't know exists in the balance sheet. So now you're going to take that bold step. I don't know this figure. I've done my investigation. I've asked, you know, but still, you know, uh, I don't know what this figure is, but I cannot comfortably carry forward. Yeah, I want my balance sheet to be clean, as clean. So because I know, so when you ask me that debtor, you know, uh, what is in there? I can tell you. That creditor, what is in there? I can tell you. The bank, I can tell you, because it's my responsibility. Yes, you know, to account for it. But if I don't know, then you know what? The accounting, yes, concept and principles and discipline is telling us, well, if you don't know, write it off. Okay. And that write off now, well, you got to follow certain protocols. You cannot just write off anyhow. <laughs> you understand? Okay. You're going to have the conversation. You're going to discuss it. You're going to have approval, you understand, for you to make that adjustment. And that adjustment, you got to make sure that when you're doing the account, yes, you want to see the effect. Is that adjustment material in the context of the financial statement or not? Because if it's material, then you're going to begin to think about another accounting standard or, or concept. We talked about prior year adjustment. You're going to disclose that. Are you with me? If it's material in the context of the financial statement. But that's how you begin to deal with it. Don't just ignore it. Don't just leave it. Oh, I don't know about it. You understand? I'm carrying debtors or creditors that I don't know about. Yes? Sorry, guys. Not acceptable. Are you with me, guys? Not acceptable. Yeah? Don't be, you know, just like you, if you're carrying a load, yes, that does not belong to you. Yes? Just think about it, how heavy that load is going to be. But when it's your load, you know what? You're gonna get energy from you know from some source. Well, it's my it's my it's my it's my it's my it's my load. Yes, I know I'm gonna resolve it somewhere, but to carry somebody else's load where you don't know how heavy that is, you know, sorry. Yeah, so I'm saying, yes, uh go through this process. Yeah, and every time I've done it, you know, it's just like um uh, I don't know, you know, uh, if you 
uh, I'm sure we're all human beings, but I like to put this, you know, in the human nature. You know, when you carry in, uh, when you carry in something like a grudge or you know, you know, or or some somebody's offended you or whatever it is, you understand? And then and then you go, you make reconciliation. You know, when you reconcile, you know, you you say I forgive you or you are being forgiven. Yeah, you know that kind of feeling. Yeah, it's like you so you know you so you you that load has been put to one side. Yeah, so now you're now so free, you're so light, you know, you get so much space, yeah, to be able to now to deal with things because you learn from it though. Because that old adjustment that's sitting down there, somebody has done that adjustment, you know, and uh, maybe for some reason, you know, they've not been able to explain themselves. Well, I'm telling you, most of this adjustment that you write off, you know, sometimes in the future, they, they resurface. Because it could be, you know, a debtor, you know, that's the money that we were expecting that did not come in that we don't know well. And then all of a sudden, you know, uh, for some reason, you know, the debtor, you know, you see money coming in. Well, hold on. Well, what are you paying for? Oh, no, there was a debt that I owe, you know, that, um, you know, I would decide to clear my books, you know, so then, you know, decide to pay. Oh, all right. Now, it's good. It's a good position to be in, you understand? When when you receive that kind of money, you know, from somebody that you're not expecting. Yeah. But then, you know, well, hold on. That was the adjustment that we made. Yeah, so now you can now go now and resurrect it and correct it. But please don't carry any debtor or creditor or balance sheet items that you know you don't know about. Yeah, it's what I would advise. But also, it's got to be done. It's stage number one, not stage number two, not stage number three. Yeah, every month it has to be a, 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 a practice, guys. Yes, month end. That's why we call it month end process. Yes, and that's a lot of jokes about that month end process, you know. And uh, those days that I was working, you know, uh, doing this stuff, we closed the door. We closed the door, you know, we're month end. We put the sign there, yeah, nobody allowed to come in because we're doing month end. Because that's the time that, you know, we need to focus. You understand? Uh, even if the, the, the tea man comes to give us tea and biscuit, you know, uh, we don't want it. You know, don't disturb us. You know, we just need to just focus on a month end. Yes. Let it be that way. But I'm telling you, if you do it that way, every month you close down, yes, when it comes to doing financial statements, number three, you're going to be so easy, I'm telling you guys. Yeah? But let the discipline be there, month end. Yeah? I hope that helps, you know? And uh, I'm not saying go and then write off, you know, write off this debt quick or those balances just like that. No, no, no. Do some, do some work first. <laughs> yes? <laughs> do some work. Yes, and uh, uh, and engage, you know, uh, consult, yeah, and uh, and then if you see that nothing is coming through, you know, then uh, all you got to do is just write it off, and we're allowed to do it, yeah. That's a very good question, very good question, you know, very very relevant as well, yes, and uh, in stage number one. Um, any other question? Any other question or comments as we wrap up? Three more minutes, then we're done. Any comments? Any any questions? Come on, guys! You got some boring questions there, you know. Come on, you guys! I can see people who are who are dealing with um, um, you know, all of these things every day. Accounts preparation. You don't have any any challenge? Seriously? No. Well, all right. Well, if there is no further questions, no. No comments, you know, I'd like to end, you know, our session for today, you know, uh, once again, uh, thank you very much for taking the time out to be here. Yes, and um, uh, it's so, so, so important that you know that this program is all about you guys. Yes. Um, but I hate to, you know, uh, to, to say that again, you know, um, in as much as it's focused on you guys, but I am learning a lot myself. I'm telling you, yes, by just being able to talk to you guys, you know, and um, uh, there's so much, you know, I'm refreshing myself, yeah, so we are all in this together, yeah, uh, but it is, you know, uh, for you guys, that's why we're doing, and we're going to do more of this, we're going to continue doing this, yes, guys, so um, if you don't have any questions here, or maybe later on you got a question, please don't hesitate to ask those questions, send the questions, you know, 
uh, to Sepede or Linda or, you know, or say to me, you know, I know I'm busy, you know, sometimes, you know, well, most times I'm so busy, I'm telling you, you know, for the grace of God. But um, I'm sure I've got, you know, admin team that are out there who will take those questions, yeah? So if you send something to me, you don't have a response, you know, um, I've been guilty, you know, I raise my hands, you know, I'm really sorry, yes? Some people send stuff to me, you know, I'm not able to reply in time. You know, please don't give up. Don't say, well, Mola does not just, you know, care. I do. Yes, and um, when I get the time, I'll do it. But, you know, if you want to get, you know, some quick action, please, you got Sepeda, you got Linda. Yes, use those resources, guys. Are you with me? Yeah, they will get back to me. Yeah. But I will encourage, you know, you guys to, you know, to uh, uh, to mastermind. Yes. Uh, form groups, you know, and then meet guys and talk about things. Yeah. Uh, it's really, really, yeah, really important. Yes. That you guys, you know, are able to exchange ideas. Yes. But also challenge your, challenge your, challenge yourself, you know. Yes. Professional skepticism. Remember that. Yeah. We allow. You know, don't just take information. Give it, you know, if you me give you this information, don't just take it like this. You understand? And uh, question it. Well, hold on, what is guys talking about? Does it make sense? Yeah. And if it doesn't make sense, you know, tell him. You know that. Uh, but please do it with love. Yes. When you're questioning somebody or when you're telling somebody with love, you understand? Uh, even me, I'm I'm learning to do that. You know, to say things. You know, in love. You know. I really mean that, yeah, uh, because we are all human beings, yeah. So um, the trust and the love, you know, share it. But you know what? Your professionalism, you got to stand out, yeah. Question it, professional skepticism, and also apply the emotional intelligence, you know, all the time. Then. You yeah, some items in the chat. Uh, yes, thank you for sharing. Thank you. Yes, absolutely. Stage one, you know. Um, yes, we need more training. <laughs> stage one, not to worry about that, you know. And um, uh, we need to invest more time in stage one. Uh, seriously, yeah, I agree with you. Um, no worries. Um, is so so important but also before we go i know you know uh sepede is making the announcement there you know by uh, join us you know on the social media you know talk about what we do but also you know encourage your people to come in you know and join and get this because this is free service you understand it's free you know um to people who want to come in you got lots of guys out there who don't know about this you know and will cherish you know and value and take the advantage you know uh, you guys will hear me talking about, you know, contact capital. For me, that's the thing that I'm focusing on this year. Yes, contact capital. Yeah, how do we leverage, you know, the people that we know? We all know people. We've got 7 billion people in the world. Yes, how do we reach out, you know, to, you know, many people as we can? Yes, so guys, I'm asking you guys to help us to reach out. Yeah, there are lots of guys out there you know, who are looking for, you know, this kind of training, this kind of exposure, wherever they are in the world now, yes? So please, guys, don't, don't forget that. Contact Capital. You know somebody who knows somebody, yes, that needs this. Yeah, so please help us to pass on the message. Uh, a quick one before you go, particularly, you know, these young people are coming through, yes, um, I was sharing an, an article this morning, uh, earlier, you know, with my team, yeah, when I saw, you know, uh, in the UK, guys, uh, guys who are finishing university, yes, they're coming out of university, particularly from the poorest, you know, um, you know, group of people, yes, okay, where they're coming from households or parents that are not earning enough. 60,000 pounds debt. Think about it. 60,000 pounds debt coming out of university and you come out of university you know um and there's no job out there well the jobs are there but people employers are not taking you on think about it yes sixty thousand pounds debt yes coming out of university 
you come in with that expectation and then there's no work there. So this kind of training, yeah, will help to close that gap. So I'm appealing to you all guys to go and let's talk. You know, uh, it's not just about talking, but take the action. Yes, uh, we could do something. Yeah, even to just signpost a young person to come to programs like this to help to close that gap. 60,000 pounds debt. They've not even started you know, proper life yet. Yeah, just come from university, 60,000 pounds, boom, on them. Think about it. Well, we can help. Yeah. So please, guys, don't take it. You know, uh, it's a serious issue, guys. Yeah. And this is what we want to do here at Moelco Foundation to see how we can help, you know, as much as possible, you know, start to help, you know, people to close that gap. Yeah. And we all can do it. So thank you very much, you know, and um, have a lovely weekend. And I look forward to seeing you guys next week. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And bye.